Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. Let us now look at reduction formula. In P3, oftentimes questions involve integrating by parts twice to achieve the desired results. Consider the following example. Integrate x squared e to the x dx and we let u equals to x squared v prime equals to e to the x. So u prime equals to 2x and v equals to e to the x. So now we have the formula of integrating by parts, which is this, and plugging in u, u prime, v, and v prime into the formula, we have integrate x squared e to the x dx equals to x squared e to the x minus 2 integrate e to the x times x dx. Now if I were to let i2 and i1 be i2 equals to integrate x squared e to the x dx and i1 equals to integrate x e to the x dx which are thusly related i2 equals to x squared e to the x minus 2 times i1 from the equation above. If instead we begin with the general term n where i n equals to integrate x to the n e to the x dx, we have u equals to x to the n, v prime equals to e to the x, so u prime equals to n times x to the n minus 1, and v equals to e to the x. So plugging in into the integrating by parts formula, we have integrate x to the n e to the x dx equals to x to the n times e to the x minus n times integrate x to the n minus 1 times e to the x dx. And then general formula is i n equals to x to the n e to the x minus n times i n minus 1. This is a reduction formula, which in essence reduces a rather complicated integral into a simpler one. Say now that we wanted to find i3, we have i3 equals to x cubed e x minus 3i2, which equals to x cubed e to the x minus 3 times x squared e to the x minus 2 times i1, and substitute i1, we have x cubed e to the x minus 3 times x squared e to the x minus 2 times x e to the x minus i0. And i0 equals to integrate x to the power of 0 e to the x dx, which equals e to the x. So plugging in i0, we have i3 equals to x cubed times e x minus 3 times x squared e x plus 6 x e x minus 6 e x plus k. It is customary not to introduce the constant of integration until the final integration has been completed. This topic will require relentless practice to master, as it is true for most of the calculus. While the integrating by parts method has been used to introduce the topic and you will want to find it insinuated in almost all the questions on the topic, other methods can be used to derive reduction formula. Example in this regard could be differentiation and identities. Let us now look at this example. Find the reduction formula for i n equals to integrate 0 to pi over 4 tangent to the n x dx. We rewrite and then use a well-known identity to establish the result. So we now make tangent to the power of n x to become tangent to the power of n minus 2 x 
times tangent squared x dx. We perform this step so that we can use the identity of tangent squared x equals to sec squared x minus 1. And so we substitute it into this formula. And simplifying it, we have tangent to the n minus 2x sec squared x minus tangent to the n minus 2x dx. So now we have on the left hand side a function that can be integrated fairly easily which is tangent to the n minus 1x over n minus 1. And so plugging in the boundaries we found out that it equals to 1 over n minus 1. And so we have a reduction formula now because we have changed tangent to the power of n to become tangent to the power of n minus 2. And the relation of the formula is i n equals to 1 over n minus 1 minus i n minus 2. Now, let us show that integrate x times 1 minus x squared to the power of 1 over 2 dx equals to negative 1 over 3 times 1 minus x squared to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. And given that i n equals to this, prove that for n is larger than 2, we have n plus 2 times i n equals to n minus 1 i n minus 2. And then we are going to use the substitution x equals to sine u to show this and eventually find i4. So this is the usual reduction formula question that you will see in further math question. So without further ado, for the first part, we let u equals to 1 minus x squared. du dx equals to negative 2x. We rewrite the given integral thusly equals to negative 1 over 2 integrate negative 2x times 1 minus x squared to the power of 1 over 2 dx. Then substituting u and u prime into the integral, we have negative 1 over 2 du dx times u to the power of 1 over 2 dx equals to negative 1 over 2 integrate u to the power of 1 over 2 du, which equals to negative 1 over 2 times 2 over 3 u to the power of 3 over 2. And substituting back u, we have negative 1 over 3 times 1 minus x squared to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. Obviously, in having us evaluate a rather simple integral, the examiner wishes us to use it in the next part. But disregarding that at this point, if you consider the following, u equals to x to the n, v prime equals to 1 minus x squared to the power of 1 over 2, the differentiation of u is easy enough. The integration of v prime, however, is slightly difficult and will not help prove the relationship that is required. Yet, the integral is evaluated so to impress upon you the fact that seldom does the most apparent method is correct method in a further mathematics paper. We begin with the substitution x equals to sine u. dx du equals to cos u. And so dx equals to cos u du. Also we have u equals to the inverse of sine x. By making the substitutions and using the identity, linking the squares of sine and cosine and unity, we find that square root of 1 minus sine square u equals to square root of cos square x, which equals to cos x. So the integral becomes, therefore, integrate square root of 1 minus x squared dx equals to integrate of 
cos u dx then equals to integrate cos u times cos u du which equals to integrate cos square u du after the substitution and we know that the identity in which cos square u equals to cos 2u over 2 plus 1 over 2 using the double angle formula. Therefore, the integral will become integrate cos 2u over 2 plus 1 over 2 du and integrating it using the rules you must have studied in P3, we get sine 2u over 4 plus u over 2. The constant of the integration has been disregarded at this point. x is now substituted back. We get 1 over 4 sine 2u plus 1 over 2u equals to 1 over 4 sine 2 inverse sine x plus 1 over 2 inverse sine x. Using the following identity, we may clean the integral up somewhat, which is sine 2 inverse sine x equals to 2x times square root of 1 minus x squared. And finally, we rewrite that integrate the square root of 1 minus x squared dx equals to x over 2 times the square root of 1 minus x squared plus 1 over 2 times inverse sine x plus c. This evidently doesn't help us in the least. We now attempt the second part using the integral we have proven in the first part of the question. We must adjust the i n so that the consequent integration by parts involve integrate x times square root 1 minus x squared dx. Hence, we manipulate the given integral thusly, integrate from 0 to 1, x to the n minus 1 times x times square root 1 minus x squared dx. And let u equals to x to the n minus 1 and v prime equals to x times the square root of 1 minus x squared. So our u prime is n minus 1 times x to the n minus 2. And v equals to negative 1 over 3 times 1 minus x squared to the power of 3 over 2 plus c. The formula for integration by parts then states i n equals to x to the n minus 1 times negative 1 over 3 times 1 minus x squared to the 3 over 2 and the boundary is 0 to 1 minus integrate from 0 to 1 n minus 1 times x to the n minus 2 times negative 1 over 3 times 1 minus x squared to the power of 3 over 2 dx. So simplifying this equation and plugging in the boundaries, we will reach i n equals to 1 over 3 times n minus 1 integrate from 0 to 1 x to the n minus 2 times 1 minus x squared to the 3 over 2 dx. Now we move 3 to the other side. So we have 3 i n equals to this. But in this case, we are going to split the 3 over 2 power into 1 plus 1 over 2 so that we can have its identity which is 
1 minus x squared times 1 minus x squared to the power of 1 over 2, as we can see here. The reason we do it is because we want to split it like that. So we times the x to the n minus 2 and 1 minus x squared to the 1 over 2 with 1 n minus x squared in this equation. So now we have got two integrals. And now we just have to simplify it in terms of i. So 3in equals to n minus 1 times integrate 0 to 1 x to the n minus 2 times 1 minus x squared to the 1 over 2 dx minus n minus 1 times i n. And further simplifying it, we have the relation of n plus 2 i n equals to n minus 1 i n minus 2. The indefinite integral has already been evaluated, so you only need to complete the calculation with the bounds given. And it is easily proven. 6i4 equals to 3i2. So i4 equals to 1 over 2 i2. And 4i2 equals to i0. So i2 equals to 1 over 4i0. So substituting it, we have i4 equals to 1 over 2 times 1 over 4 i0, which equals to 1 over 8 i0 and equals to pi over 32. That's all for today's video. If you're interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell, ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the March scheme just doesn't seem to help, Genius got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie, we'll see you next time. Bye bye.